I'm Talita Saiza and this is my first video. Welcome! Today I prepared a warm blooming makeup. This makeup look will remind you of a pretty, bright and warm yellow orange flower that prettily bloom in spring and summer. It shows a pure charm and has a strong warm feeling. So let's get started. Add 2000 Fix and Fix Toner Primer Shade Apricot. Put some on your palms and then distribute it evenly all over your face. Start from your cheek, forehead, chin, and nose. Blend it using clean finger. For me, to achieve a natural looking bright skin complexion, rather than put a lot of foundation and concealer, I choose to apply a lot more of this sauna primer and then apply concealer like It really brightens up my skin naturally right. The same cover perfection tip concealer number 1.25 like beach. Cover your dark circles in stippling motion. Blend it to the previous base after you have the amount of concealer you want on your face. Do the same with the other side. Use the remaining product to conceal the imperfections around your nose. Remember, with the remaining product only. If not, then your nose will get flaky easily. In this free nose sebum mineral powder. In hot and humid weather, you have to stay fresh, so at least put on some powder to your face to be less oily. Slightly press the puff to your skin so that the particles of the powder can fill in your pores too. Color pop eyeshadow palette, yes please. I use this one item for shading and eye makeup. With a crease brush, apply the darkest brown color for shading. Don't forget your nose tip too, to make your nose look smaller. It has a lot of red hands, so for some skin tone who don't have enough saturation, it might be not the right color. And on your love your mental crease, so that your lips look plumpier. Still with the same espresso color, but with a different brush. I use this to give more volume on my eyebrows. I didn't want my eyebrows look too defined, so I think powder type shadow is enough. Mix this orange brick and light peach color for your eyeshadow base. Apply the color across your eyelid if you're still confusing how to create a symmetrical eyeshadow you have to do it step by step color by color don't finish one side directly because it may be difficult to do also to make it well blended you have to be patient With a flat eyeshadow brush, I took this tangerine shimmery color. 
the color is really pretty and it makes my eyes appear less dull without applying the color to the underline you're gonna look somehow awkward but to avoid a weird impression to your eyes don't apply eyeshadow too white on the underlying area go back to the espresso color yeah I had this to substitute my eyeliner connect it to the outer half of your under eye give accents by putting this ivory pearl shadow to the center of your eyelid and on the underlying area too be careful without this it always feels incomplete I do have the eyelash color beauty tools and I peel my little mascara power volume pink powder after I curl my eyelashes I use this brown mascara because I thought that this is the perfect choice for this look Peri Pera Pure Blush Velvet Cheek Shade Appealing in Dry Coral For the blusher, I apply cream blush first In a full manner Connect it to your nose Peachy Chic Peach Cotton Blusher Apricot Pea Cheek To increase the warmness level and to give a gradient watercolor effect, I put a powder blush on the top of the cream blush. Let's brighten up our lip line with concealer. Peachy Holiday Tint Shade Tropical. Apply one layer first. Blend the lip tint with your finger and make it as if it was blurred. After that, peel up one layer again. Add a silk tear darling ice cream tint or R205. In order to achieve a glossy lip, I use this sheer lip tint for the last step. Finally, I finished everything, but I'm sorry I cannot post any longer. See you! Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on IG.